Turn out your lights. Turn them out. Have you heard the story? Castle by the sea? (laughs) Then listen while the hermit tells you the story. gathering, and they all seem to meet right at the top of the castle. By George, they do. Maybe the old ruins, the rendezvous for the storms that scatter over the sea. Ah, yeah, you're only trying to frighten me and make it sound all the more mysterious. Yes, it was. We ought to turn back to the hotel. When we come this far? Oh, never. They get caught in a nasty storm, you know. Something weird about thunder in the heart of daytime, isn't there? I always associate it with black night. You may have black night any time now. Perhaps the old servant who would give a shelter in the castle. Oh, that's what you're counting on, is it? Ask you how far it is to the castle, Dave. We know how far it is. You have to start climbing the hill in a minute. That's the little, the little. I've seen the queer lights coming from it at night. Bewitched, that's what it is. But you don't really believe that, now, do you? Yes, I do. Have you ever been near it? Once, a year ago, I went up to the Kneed. Oh, that's right. I guess we'll venture up the mountain anyway. It's going to storm, sir. I wouldn't go. Hear the thunder? When a storm comes up here on the sea, it's quite bad. We'll take a chance. But thank you for your information. The sea washes right up to the edge of the slope of this mountain. Real high, too. You won't be able to get away. We won't stay long. Now, we won't get caught. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye. You believe the story right enough. You ready to climb? Yes, I'm more anxious now. Strange lights coming from it at night. Weird faces peering out. Who wouldn't want to go? Inquisitive woman would. Ah, here's a path to follow. Makes climbing easier. If we're near the top of the hill, the thunder sounds closer. But we've spotted its hiding place. Look. Mm, It's an enormous structure. All castles are. The windows are tumbling out. 
falling into ruin. I should say it is. How could a person live all alone in this place? I wouldn't want the job. It's getting very dark. Here comes the rain. We will have to ask for shelter. The gates are locked. Come, we can at least sit on the veranda till the storm breaks. All right, run. Run, it's coming down on a fury now. I hope the lightning doesn't decide to strike this old place. It's soaking wet. Now see what your inquisitive nature has led us into. You want to come here sad as badly as I did, and you know. Now we are here. It's nothing but a roof. And a first-rate thunder shower for entertainment. Change, the old servant doesn't come to scare us away. You look so much like a mermaid with your hair streaming down. Maybe you frightened her away. Dave, I, I thought I heard someone moan. Have your ears tuned for ghosts, honey. You hear anything right now. No, I'm certain I heard someone this time. What oh, thunder you hear? I can hear the thunder all right. There's another peculiar sound. Like a person moaning in distress. Yes, I do hear it now. I wonder what it can be. Do you hear it? Well, doesn't it sound like someone crying out in pain? Steve, Steve, it's Steve. What? Over there in the yard under the tree. By George. Must be the old servant woman. And she's ill. Go get her. Bring her here in the porch out of the store. Sure. Why, say, Hello? Uh, May I carry you over to the porch? Out of the store? Uh, here, let me lift you up. Carry you over to the house. Oh. Am I hurting you? Does it hurt to carry you? Uh, I'm so sorry. She hurt, Dave? Uh, she will. See if you can open the door so I can carry her inside. It's locked. Well, see if you can find a bunch of keys on her dress. No. No, you can't go in. She doesn't want us inside, Dave. She's ill. We have to take her inside. Here's some keys. Find them. Uh, no, this one doesn't work. Another one. Uh, I believe this one's going to fit. Swing the door open wide so I can get through with her. Uh, you must come in. No. All right, lady, we no. have to help you. We can't leave you outdoors. Where are you going to take her? Look at this hall. It's all cobweb. I'm so sick. I'll we'll find some water or something and give you hot tea. Oh, your clothes are wet clear through. Can I help her undress? No. No. Come out of the room with me. All right. We'll be back in a few moments and give you something hot to drink. Yes, I... I'm so sick. I, I'm going to die. Oh, wait. Close the door. Yes. Yeah. Now, I guess we are in for something. Yes, I guess we are. It's getting nice. The storm hasn't stopped. The old servant is ill, and you and me. Well, it looks as if we had a job on our hands and a night to spend in a desolate castle. She seems to be sleeping now, so I guess we can get some rest. Think you'll be able to sleep in this bed? I could sleep anywhere, I'm weary. This must be a woman's room. Yes, it's filled with things that were once fine and lovely. Now, I guess I the box down in good. They wasn't it? Yes. The owner must keep her supplied with enough to live on. Mm. That includes candles, I must say. I wouldn't want to spend a night in this place without light. No, I, poor old lady. Do you think she is going to die? I think she had a stroke. We should go to the doctor in the morning. We will if she isn't better. She looks as if she'd lived for centuries, doesn't she? She's like a witch out of a fairy story. She has a beautiful old gold pendant around her neck, and she acts as if she were afraid we were going to take it. The door. The wind blew it open and shut again. Locks are all worn out. Give me the shutters. You're going to listen to all the creaks and noises in this house all night. You'll have delirium tremens, not shutters. Well, let's try and get some sleep. I wish it were morning. Over the wall. It did, Dave. 
Listen to it. I hear it. Well, what is it? I'm not sure, Sherlock Holmes. I don't know. There it is again. I'm sorry, that is a queer sound. David. Oh, look. Standing there in the doorway. Look. What is it? A woman. Is it the sound? I don't, I don't know. Speak to her. What do you want? Are you all right? She doesn't speak. It's a young woman. Who are you? She's moving right over by this bed. David. Who are you? What do you want? She's coming closer. She's moving over where the knocking sound comes from. She isn't alive. She's in the machine. Well, that stands over by that wall. Trying to take the bricks away. Take me away. Take me away from here. someone come into our room? You did. Noreen, the spirit of my beautiful mistress, trying to save her lover. What is the strange story of this house? When I die, will you stay in keep her company if I but tell you her story, will you? Yes. Yes, we will help you. I, I've guarded the secret all these years. Watched over her spirit. Will you care for her if I if I tell you the story? We'll watch over her. Well, the owner of this house killed her body, but not her spirit. It lingers on, hunting for her lover, trying to save him. Uh, her husband was a horrible man, a, a brute. The family arranged a marriage. Noreen loved life and beauty. Two years before, she'd fallen in love with a young Spanish gentleman. He, he came right while her husband was away. But the master returned unexpectedly. I had but a second to warn her before he, he walked into her room. <laughs> Thunderbolt. Miss Michelle Mace. You may go to me. Yes, madam. My dear Noreen, if I am not mistaken, there is someone hiding in your closet. You are mistaken. Tonight, while playing billiards, I learned of your charming Spanish lover. You were misinformed. I know there's someone hiding in that closet, and I shall look. Stop. Take my word for it. 
You would swear there was no one in there? Yes. Will you swear by this charm of my ancestors? Carry the crest of my family. Touch your lips to it. Swear to me that there's no one in that closet. I... I swear... All right. I believe you. Now, call your servant into your room. She's right outside. I'll ring for her. You wish it, Dominique. It matters not the hour, Dominique. I wish you to call a stonemason to this room at once. Yes, sir. And I shall sit and wait in this room until he comes. And there he sat, never taking his eyes off my dear mistress for three hours, waiting for the stonemason. And a lover stood waiting for his face in the closed closet. When the stonemason came, I took him into the room. The stonemason is here, sir. That is good. Sir, go and fetch bricks. Bring sufficient to wall up the door of this closet. And then plaster the wall. I want it done tonight while I sit here. Tonight, you hear? It uh, may disturb your sweet sleep, my dear Maureen. No. I shall sleep. Then do the job tonight. Now. Uh, it, it was awful. There he stayed. My poor mistress fainted during the night into a living tomb. Great heaven. Uh, it was an awful thing to hear. It rings in my ears tonight. I, I can hear the master laughing as the scratching inside the wall began.
Maybe one of us should have stayed with her instead of us both going to the hotel for help. There's nothing to be done for her. She had another stroke early this morning. When it walked fast? Yes. What a horrible night. What an awful life she's lived. Can it all be true? I don't know. We did see that. Yes, I'm sure we saw the spirit. I know it. And it sounded in the wall. We did hear that. Yes. Oh, look. Here comes the young boy we met yesterday walking along the beach. Yes, it is. He isn't it. Shall we tell him we were at the castle? No, don't mention it. At the hotel, we'll explain it. Hello? Hello. A walking again today? Yes, uh, just admiring your scenery along here. I'm going towards the castle now. Look behind you and see what's happening to it. What? <gasps> look. Yes, it's all a fire. I saw it when I was way down the beach and came running. Merciful heaven. And we never looked back and noticed. It's just a bolt of lightning had struck it. The whole castle is ablaze. I ran back to save the old servant's pay if that old lady is still in there. We can never get there in time to save her. Thirty minutes walk to the castle from where we stand now. We can never make it. And she's all alone in there. Oh, run, run, David. No you. I'm going up to see what I can see. There's no spirit to bother now. They've all been burned out. I'm glad it's gone. Murray, we aren't to blame. Don't tell them at the hotel where we were. In a shelter of cover overnight. We must stay. They would think we set the place on fire. In the story, the old servant told us it's weird as the tale of the ancient mariner. Turn them on. <laughs>